guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am about to get some things done around here and give you guys some clean motivation and get my to-do list done. I wanted to tell you that today's video is sponsored by FamiSafe. I've worked with them before. Beverly's getting to an age where she doesn't often take naps when my two youngest do. And so she finds other things to do and have some quiet time. Do you wanna tell them something that you like to do while they take naps? Be on my tablet. Be on your tablet, yeah. So Family Safe is something that helps you kind of monitor what they're doing on their devices. It can even tell you where they are. It really gives you full insight on the things that they're doing on their tablet, phone, or device. During this time of social distancing, we are spending a lot of time at home and I know a lot of us are working from home, which means that our little ones are on their devices more than usual. You can use the FamiSafe app with both a desktop and your phone. The app is compatible with Android and Apple. You can set up a smart schedule. Smart schedule allows you to set how long you want your child to be on their device. This would be perfect for over the times when you have meetings or calls from home. Another feature that's really great is there is a YouTube app control. You can block and allow the things you want your child exposed to. Multiple devices can be connected to the same account. The web filter helps you select the type of content you want your child exposed to. Check out the information in the description box to find out how you can get 20% off of FamiSafe and try it out for your own family. So basically my idea of this video was to show you that if you do a little bit each day, you can actually keep up with your home pretty easily. I do tend to be one that likes to put a lot of my cleaning on one long day, but it's not always realistic and it just works out better sometimes to do a little bit each day. So I did this in two different days, so you'll see a outfit change here after a while. And this day I was just tidying up the living room and zipping through while my younger two were taking their naps. Something else I like to do on a daily basis is get a load of laundry done if possible. And I like to use my wool dryer balls from Norwex. I put a little bit of lavender oil on each of them. Sometimes I do other scents as well, but lavender really is the calming scent and it just smells so good on our sheets. Also, don't forget if you do one of my DIYs or if you're just feeling motivated by my content today, if you post anything on Instagram, use the hashtag inspired by Addie and I'll be able to see it. Next, I went into our bathroom and just kind of tidied up in here. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the bathroom is my most neglected area of the house. I feel like I can keep up with the main areas and then I kind of forget about the bathroom situation. <laughs> and then it gets really bad and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is horrible. You know, the sinks and everything. So I went ahead and took my Enviro cloth and wiped the sinks out and cleaned off the mirror and then used my window cloth to shine the mirror up. I will leave a link below for the video where I show you how I make my toilet bombs because that is a question that I get pretty often is how do I make them and they do get kind of fizzy in the toilet which is kind of fun to watch and it also reminds me to leave it in there a little while while I wipe the toilet down with an Enviro cloth. Gotta do something, get it right. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live in life. This was a separate day and again, just kind of zipping through, doing 10 minutes, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes here and there. And I got my diffuser rolling. That always motivates me to clean because it makes the house smell so good.
I am getting ready to do a refresh on our room. I'm really excited about the projects I have planned for this. And one of my best friends is also making our nightstands, which is really exciting. I can't wait to see them. I haven't even seen them yet. I have an idea of how they're gonna look, but she's been working really hard on them and I can't wait to share that with you guys. So if you guys have been watching my last few videos, you probably know what this mess is all about. <laughs> I did some big DIY letters for my daughter's wall in her room and it left behind a pretty big mess. As you can see, I used poster board. It turned out really cute and worked out really well, but the mess that it left behind was just little pieces of poster board all over my dining room. And then on the other side of the dining room, my youngest, got into our flashcards and decided that she would sprinkle them around the room as well. So <laughs> I was picking up flashcards and just cleaning up this mess. I've been getting some questions about my dining room chairs recently and they are an Amazon find. They're super, super inexpensive. They come in packs of four. So I got two sets of four and um, I really like them. In fact, I use one at my desk to edit and I've had questions if they're comfortable and I think that they are. Um, I don't mind sitting on it, you know, to do hours of editing and you can wipe them down. That's one thing that's really great about them is they have a pretty tough coating on them since they are actually an indoor and outdoor chair. And um, so if you have kids, they are amazing to wipe up. Let me know in the comments what you've been up to during this time of social distancing. Um, what have you been doing with your kids? If you don't have kids, what have you been doing with yourself? Do you have any great Netflix shows that you can suggest? Let's get some ideas going in the comments of just ways to keep us busy. Small side note, I had no idea I had a sticker stuck to my leggings, but isn't that real mom life? <laughs>
I grabbed an Enviro cloth again and just used my Norwex paste on my stovetop. I really like this for this and I know I've been sharing it a lot lately, but you can really use it for a lot of different things like cleaning shoes and bathtubs and sinks and even get scuffs off of the wall. I went and grabbed my blue scrubber cloth. I love this thing, especially for pots and pans and cookie sheets, that sort of thing. And you don't have to worry about repurchasing scrubber sponges that collect a lot of bacteria. So this little thing is super handy for in your sink and just scrubbing up grime. I hope this gave you some quick motivation. I know I love videos that are about 10 minutes that just give me that motivation before I jump into my work. So that was what I thought I would give you today. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed. Give this video a like. Don't forget to leave a comment below and I will see you guys in my next video.